I'm a sun worshiper, particularly when I can find the sun and the sea together. Landscapes such as these wield a magic attraction on me. For my vacation, whether in the summer, the spring, or the fall, or even when I can manage a long weekend, I jump into a plane and off I fly to the happy atmosphere of the Côte d'Azur. This is Nice. It's only a stone's throw from wherever you live by Air France. What a happy change from northern climes. The sun and the sea are yours. There's a burst of light and gaiety as you step off the plane. Only a few minutes later, here we are strolling down the Promenade des Anglais. Of course, you've heard of it. It's one of the most celebrated boulevards in the world. Tomorrow morning, we'll be up bright and early, eager to explore these enchanted shores. Splendid highways run up and down the coast. This is Beaulieu. And the famous Villa Grec. And here is Saint Jean Cap Ferrat, where Somerset Mom lives. Gaze up to this eagle's nest, as built on a cliff as protection against pirates. This lovely tropical garden is located in Monaco. Monaco is shaped like the prow of a boat advancing into the luminous sea. This is the Bay of Menton, mild all winter long. Observe its hills covered with terraced gardens planted with lemon and orange trees. This is the port of Villefranche. Do you feel like hiring a boat manned by one of the local fishermen? No, better wait till tomorrow. This time we'll return to Nice via the Montbaron Road. For a rest and a change, this evening we'll try our luck at the Palais de la Méditerranée. Ah, the balmy Riviera nights with the soft thrumming of an orchestra in the background. Tomorrow, we'll take that boat ride we've promised ourselves. A fishing craft will help us discover a strange and mysterious world, a world of rustling beauty in which you penetrate as in a huge cathedral of the deep. We're going to fathom its mysteries at last. The water is so limpid that visibility is good some 60 feet down. The light floats like a halo around twisted rocks. An amphora nestling in the fold of a rock. Archaeologists tell us it is a Greek amphora dating from the time of Christ. Ships carried oil, wine, and other precious cargo in these lovely vases to Marseille, where the Phocians had a large trading center.
Another Phocian port was located near Antibes, our home port. Lunch is a sacred rite in France. There's nothing like the sea to whet your appetite. At the Bonne Auberge, you can order Provençal specialties and a local rosé wine cooled to your taste. After lunch, a little relaxation. And what better place to relax than Eden Rock? Eden Rock is a meeting place for the socially prominent movie stars, millionaires, and diplomats. But the artists prefer the peaceful and poetic hinterland. The painter Chagall has a little house hidden in the orchards at Vence. Jean-Gabriel Domergue lives in a sumptuous Italian-style villa located in the hills just above Cannes. the queen of the Riviera, a dazzling jewel on an incomparably beautiful coast. The world's most brilliant international society throngs the luxurious hotels, the summer and winter galas, the clubs, the beaches, the cafe terraces. In the old port of Cannes are the most luxurious yachts in the world. There's a smell of iodine in the air wafted in from the briny deep. And there are the smiling, weather-beaten faces of the fishermen. Theirs is the ideal life, simple and happy. These stately yachts whisper tales of Corsica and Capri, of Sicily and Elba. Do you long to sail away to Never Never Land? As for me, a small sailboat will do. The light breeze will send us gliding over the blue waters. Life is peaceful and serene. The sun is bright, the air is cool. Yes, life is lovely on the Riviera. These are the islands of Les Reins, crowned by a monastery. And now we make for Joie les Pins, close to Cannes. Grown-ups are not the only one who like beaches. This is a children's paradise. What about a swim? After your swim, a little sunbathing. And at twilight, you can go have a drink at the Juana, for instance, or in any of the big hotels. landscapes await us. The Côte d'Azur is an explorer's paradise. Bright blue sea, dark red rocks, umbrella pines, oleanders, olive trees, shimmering in the warm sun. The Esterel mountain range has scores of narrow inlets and bays. It's fun to explore them by kayak. If you crave the peaceful solitude of isolated coves, 
the Riviera is just the place for you. Any time is a good time to take a dip here. Explore the little ports where everyone feels at home. Some prefer to talk, others to paint quietly in the sun. After lunch, everyone relaxes. And now for a change, a little water skiing. The school of Juan et Pain is one of the very best. After a few tips from the instructor, you too can be a champion. The speed is intoxicating as you skim over the waves. The water seems alive underfoot. What's this? You thought I said we were on the Côte d'Azur. Well, so we are. I told you this was a country of miracles. Valberg looks like a Tyrolean village, yet it's less than 10 miles as the crow flies from the Mediterranean. However, it will take you more than 10 minutes to get there. You'll drive through narrow gorges cut out by the Sion River through the Red Rock. Have you heard of Oron? It's a ski resort protected by towering peaks. Visit the old 12th century church. Admire the comfortable new hotels. Here you can enjoy all the benefits of the best ski resorts. First of all, we'll begin with the skating rink at the Hotel du Pilon. This youngster is a champion in the making and a living picture of good health and enthusiasm. And now for a look at the skiing. Beginners of all ages go back to school here. The others have a choice of seven ski runs. You will have no trouble telling them apart. They're called Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si. And they're all served by ski or cabin lifts. It's time now for a well-earned drink. We lunch against a backdrop of snow-capped peaks, while only a few miles away on the Promenade des Anglais, spring is in the air.
Yet it's only February, and already His Majesty King Carnival enters the good city of Nice. Did you know that the carnival is a tradition which goes back to the 12th century? It spells two weeks of fun, frolic, and dancing. A festive air hovers over the city. During the 19th century, this occasion was celebrated with mock battles of beans, candy, and eggs filled with plaster or soot. Today, manners have improved. Pretty girls throw confetti, more than a half million pounds of it. The crowd cheers the masks, the paper mache monsters parading through the town. Sinister looking, aren't they? They're made of old paper and flour mixed according to an ancestral recipe. Yes, this is war, and we're expected to fight back. It's all in good, clean fun, of course. So let's machine gun the enemy with colored paper. After the confetti come the flowers. the seaside, along the Promenade des Anglais, winds a brilliant and fascinating corso. Mid this joyful atmosphere, the Air France float, a reminder of journeys to come. When are you planning your trip to the Côte d'Azur?